don't know, about a year ago, Mark sends me this little cartoon of this fluffy giant unicorn bouncing on a rainbow. And he's like, this is you and how you go through your life. And I'm like, you know, and he's right. He's like, blah, 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 everything's going to be amazing. Let's just go open up a store in Florida. Let's just go open up another store in Denver and we're going to be good. So that's kind of that part. And the wizard is because he is absolutely a wizard when it comes to diamonds. There's nobody that I've ever met that knows as much as he does. Well, my parents were in the business. My father was a wholesale diamond dealer in, in the early uh, 1970s. And then my parents, my father's from Colorado, so they moved back to Denver and took over a jewelry store that had already been there for 50 years prior. And um, growing up, it was all I knew. I mean, my parents would very often bring the clients into the family for Friday night Sabbath dinners. It was constantly <coughs> interacting as a family. Diamond to your show and tell. I remember I said to her, Ema, um, it's my show and tell turn next week. I want to bring a diamond. <laughs> so she said, like a fake CZ diamond? I'm like, no, that's not interesting. A real diamond. And we came to Boca for a weekend. I'm like, this is amazing. We have to live here. And he's like, okay, we'll take two years. Whoa. Like, you know, I'm like, no, no, we're going to go. And this was in May, and um, in August we were living here. Mm -hmm.